Yes, a new short form factor of video on learning Lightburn. No ball. Let's get straight to it. Good afternoon, Andy here from Flick My Switch Laser. So with Valentine's Day quickly approaching, I thought I'd show you a few ways to draw the perfect heart. Now, yeah, what is perfect? The perfect heart is how you prefer to draw it or how you prefer to copy it. So I'm going to show you probably some new tools as well during this short presentation that you may not have used before. Anyway, let's start by drawing a simple square, a rectangle, and I'm gonna make sure it's unlocked and I'm gonna make that 60. Uh, actually, I'm gonna make that 63, because I've been doing some testing. So 63 by 40. Okay, so I'm going to click off that and then we are going to go down here to the radius tool and because that is 40, we're going to increase that to 20 and going to click there and click there. So basically giving the rectangle a curve. Then we're going to duplicate that. So control D and then with the center button up here, going to type in 90 and that's going to turn it 90 now to align them so now I'm going to drag and select them all and come over here and do right align and then I'm going to do bottom align so I, th so I think you can see the heart taking shape so now I'm going to drag it select it and going to rotate that um, 45 so it looks like a heart and then we're going to come down here and weld the shapes together and there you go you've got a heart shape and if you like that design then well and good but now we're going to play with it slightly differently and you can experiment with different um, size rectangles and it doesn't take much to change the 63 to 65 and you'll get a different um, shape appearing if you sort of do 70 by 40 it comes out disastrous anyway so now we're going to play with this i'm going to control duplicate so we don't lose it and drag it off and then i am going to select a line and i'm looking over my camera today because i've got my camera in a different position and then i think i can snip that and I can't snip that, so I'm going to go to the node tool, hover over that one and press D on the keyboard, and it disappears. The reason I'm doing that is, I'm going to show you a new tool. So what I want to do, I want to play with this line here to give it a slight curve. So all I'm going to do is, for now, that may look all right. So I'm going to unselect that. I'm now going to duplicate it. So Control D. I'm going to use the arrow key so it moves over to the right on the same horizontal plane. I'm going to come up here and flip it. Then I'm going to drag over both of them. And this may be a new tool that you haven't used before. So I'm going to do Arrange and Distribute, Move Horizontal Together. Look at that you've now got that shape slightly altered into different heart. So this is still two parts. So if you're happy with it, I'm gonna just copy that while I'm doing it, duplicate that and drag it down here. So if you wanna keep that one shape, you can then join it. So now that you've made your perfect heart, perhaps you want to engrave it, but there's one secret step that you need to do. Remember, we have this as two parts. So we got a left and a right. But if you just group it, it's still actually two parts. Because if you look where the marching ants are going, that's going to the right and that's going to the left. So these still are two individual lines, not making a shape. And now I'll prove that to you. If I go over here to fill, you have, oh my gosh, why is it not filling? And you click on that. Perhaps I need to put it on my blue layer that I normally use. No, look, Phil, it's still not working. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? So what you need to do, I ungroup it. 
and you can still see the marching ants are going right and left. So to overcome the problem, you need to select them, come over to edit and auto join selected shapes. So now if you look where the marching ants are going, look, they're, they're going all one direction like this. Now, if you come over to fill, aha, you'll get the fill. And no matter what layer you put it on, if, if it's on fill, offset fill, it will fill. So if you're stressing that your shapes aren't filling, make sure your marching ants are all going in the same direction. And I did a video of art libraries a while ago. So open your art library. And if you haven't got your art library window, come up to window, click on art library and it will appear. And I've got one called shapes. Have I got one called shapes? Ah, oh, look, Valentine V3. So I've already got some shapes in there. So I'm gonna select that, import graphic from project, and I'm gonna call it heart three because I've already got hearts in there and you can see it's added it to the library. So if you wanted to use that heart, all you do, you would click on that heart, add graphic to project and it's brought it in. So there you go. So I'm going to delete that. Um, so what was I going to do? So just looking over the camera. So because that is, where's the one that is joined? Because that is um, still in two halves, I'm going to delete one half because I want to show you again how you can alter the image so if you click on that and then node edit and you can see that that green line is on this line here and that means it's in the same vertical position as the heart at the bottom so if you wanted slightly more depth here you can drag that down I'm guessing where it's going, but it's on that vertical line. Then you can play with the handles and you can also just bring that out slightly, play with the handles. That may look okay. So I'm going to click off. Yeah, it's a little bit bumpy there, I think. So I'm going to click back in there and it's a matter of playing. But if you play with it too much, you can destroy your image. Anyway, I think you get the idea. So I'm going to click off that now. Going to click on that, Control D, duplicate, right arrow key. Select them both, arrange, distribute, move horizontal, no, sorry, missing a step there. Flick that round on the mirror selection. Select them both, arrange, distribute, horizontal together. And you can see, actually, I think I prefer that one to that one. So that's one way to draw a perfect heart and you can keep going. So I'm, while I'm there, I'm gonna select that, gonna group it. Then I'm going to import graphic from project, heart four. Okay, so that's that. And remember I showed you last time when we was making the library about the, uh, the search function. So if I just click on there, so I've got all these folders which have different um, subject matter in, but say you know you've got a heart somewhere. If you search there for heart return, it will bring the folder up where it's found heart. So if you click on that, you can see you've now got all your hearts there. So that's how you use that. So the next thing I'm going to show you, which you may not have thought about, is let's bring these in using fonts to um so using fonts which this was a font called heart things and you can find 
heart related fonts on many different websites and I'll leave some links down below and I'll put it on the screen. But say you found this font that has heart shapes in and you think, mm, I like that heart, how can I use it? Well, the way you use it is, you need to first, underneath here, you see I've put the alphabet. So if you do small letters, you'll get that shape. And if you do capital letters, you'll, you'll get this shape. So it doesn't matter which one we use. So let's choose, I think it's gonna be a P. So if I come down here and do a capital P and zoom in so we can see what we're doing. It is tiny, that is sort of 10 millimeters just. So if we select the font and then if we click off the font, so we're now in the selection tool, right click and convert to path and click off it and click on a heart now, we can separate that heart from the font. And we've done no artwork whatsoever. Then you can, I'm gonna hold the shift button and rotate and it will rotate round of 15 degrees. So hopefully that is upright. And if you like that font, I don't quite like that. So let's try and edit that. So let's see how we can do that. I'm gonna click on there and going to bring that down a bit, probably to there, click there and put uh, M for middle, click there, M for middle. So that's gonna put another node in the middle. And now we can drag that and drag that. And I do another one, M, 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 M. Click off, see what it looks like. Much nicer. So if we just scale that up now, so I'm gonna hold the control key and drag handles and it's gonna scale from the middle. Drag it off there slightly. So you can see that's massive now and you can see that it's a little bit curvy there. So we could edit that again. Now we see what we're doing. We can add, um, click there, M again, M, 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 click, oh. So if you, if you <coughs> click on the node and press S, you'll get the handles coming up. So I'm hovering over the node, clicking S, S, and then you can play with the handles. I think this one needs to come down slightly. And that one. Anyway, I think you get the idea. That one's a bit uh, round. Click that one and press S. That one needs to just come in a touch. Click off so we see it. That's better. And look, that's if we make it massive, so control. I think we get away with that. So I'm gonna make it a normal size. So I'm gonna control. I don't wanna rotate it. So I'm just gonna make it normal size. And then click on that art library and heart five. And there you go. So that's another easy way and you can keep playing with that as, as much as you like. Um, to get the heart you, that you want. I think all these hearts are pretty much the same. That's another taller heart. So that's probably V. So if we do there, 
tax capital V. Click off it, right click, convert to path. Let's make that massive. Oh, control Z to get off that, get the handle rather than rotation. See that one's a little bit wonky there. So we click on that, get in the node tool. We could just bring that in. I'm gonna press S to smooth it. And I think if we click off that, that looks a lot better. So if we select that, add that there. And if I put in heart space five, it should warn me. Yes, I don't want to replace it. So do it again, add to that heart six. And there you go. So that's a quick way to draw your perfect heart because you can play with those as much as you want and uh, get it how you want. Obviously, you can find images on the internet, bring them in and right click and trace them. Um, if you're using a font like this, just make sure it's a free font or you've got commercial license for it. A lot of the fonts are personal use only. So if you're burning um, GIFs that you're selling, you need to have the correct license for the object that you're using. In this case, we're showing fonts because we haven't traced an object. But I hope you found that useful. I hope you get to make the perfect heart this coming Valentine's. So that's Andy as ever, wishing you a great afternoon. Continue to make some happy smoke and hopefully you'll join me in my next video. Cheers for now. Thank you for making it to the end of my videos, much appreciated. If you like what I'm doing and I've earned your trust and respect, perhaps you would consider subscribing. If you leave a comment, I will answer them as well. And if you give me a thumbs up, it will put a smile on my face. Perhaps you would like some of the videos popping up now. See you in the next one.